guys we are here back with another video and today I got to show you guys what I've been wearing lately some of you guys as you guys may know I am a model so with being a model you have to have some type of fashion sense some type of edginess about you and to be honest I don't know if I have that but I'm gonna show you guys what I've been wearing lately and hopefully give you guys some inspiration before we get started guys please go ahead Drop a like on this video, subscribe, notifications, all that because I'm dropping more model content, vlogs, I'm dropping more everything. Without further ado, let's get the first outfit. And we're back, like I never left. As you guys can see, man, this is the first outfit. See, what I like about this outfit a lot is the fact that the colors of the shirt really give you that kind of that different edgy look that you're gonna be looking for when you take new photo shoots or when you go out. It kind of stands out a little bit because, you know, have like the blues, the reds, you have your primary colors, but they're in a way that they're not like super, super bright and flashy. It's just a nice, just a nice clean look. And the how I style my clothes is always like when I do this, like when I always have it out, you know, I show a little bit of the, the abs, the chest a little bit. And then I always do like the uh, French tuck. I tuck it in the front, leave it out in the back. I think it gives it a nice little aesthetic to it. And then of course, white shoes, as a lot of my outfits have these white shoes. So, you know, kind of just a good look to me. Where would I wear this fit? I'd probably wear this fit out on a date or just out hanging out with friends. This isn't something that I necessarily would like go on, like, especially like an editorial or like high fashion shoot. This is something you probably would wear. Or maybe like a lifestyle shoot or something like that. That could definitely work out really, really well. And also, what I love about this, this fit of the jeans. Courtesy of my man, who are lengthy man, we have the jeans. And it's just, I mean, there's some really cool pockets up here. You guys probably already saw the drawstring, it's really easy a lot skinnier to wear these. I think you can find them in like PacSun, H&M, you know, any of those high retail stores, whatever, you can find these things. They're really nice and comfortable as well. So definitely a great look. So yeah, and we'll get the next outfit right now. We'll get back, guys, with the next outfit. Now, look about this outfit is just the simplistic nature of it. As you guys can see, it's all black, really. Not the white shoes, like I told you guys, I wear a lot of white shoes in a lot of my outfits. And then, the gray cardigan. This is actually just a thrift shop find. You know, you can, honestly, a lot of this stuff, you can just go to the thrift shop, find a lot of this stuff, other than probably the pants. The pants are definitely some, like, you know, high upscale type fashion stuff. They're probably like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. You can really, really find great outfits for cheap. You can go to the thrift store, go in there. It's kind of get your colors together. Really, like, when you're starting out within modeling or within anything, and you want to get your fashion, get your look together, you probably should always start with getting the basic colors. So blacks, whites, grays, nude colors, I would say olive greens, all that. Those are great colors to get started with because they kind of shape you, give you a good aesthetic and vibe, and also can really complement your skin in a very well depending on you know, your skin type, skin color, and stuff like that. So really, you know, try to find the very basic and general colors to start off and then build on, build on from there. Um, as for me, you know, these pants, Really, they really kind of give me an edgier look. Just with this look, at the top you see really high editorial kind of look with the cardigan, and it's a black, plain black shirt, but when you come down, it gives you some definite, definite, different types of vibes. It definitely kind of changes the look up, and gives me a little bit of an edginess that I like to see when I'm maybe like out on the street doing a photo shoot, or when hanging out with friends. It's something different to throw me off. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but my signature, the French tuck. So with that, guys, you know, I always Gotta throw that in there because no little little way to kind of just switch it up and change the vibe. Outfit number three. So what I really like about this outfit is that you know a nice polo looks good on everybody. Come on, guys, anybody. If you like want to up your fashion game for this, I'm talking to my dudes, obviously. Just grab you a nice polo, throw it on you, and bet you like you're gonna step up your fashion game like 220 percent because people always look nice in dress clothes, so dressy your clothes. You also look like you really like have a little more expensive taste on you. 
you know, little things like that that kind of build your aesthetic. With me though, for this outfit, what I love about this outfit is just the tan pants into the tan shoes. That to me brings the whole together. I know a lot of people, they wouldn't always necessarily match the shoes with the pants, but I felt like it's a great splash with the blue. You go straight into the tan, it kind of gives you this one full look. I'm loving. Um, as for the shoes, they are Adidas. I don't know what's the name of them, but they're, they're tan Adidas. They look really nice, really clean. Um, I just love this look because it kind of like, you know, I'm really, I'm really, I've gotten to be really skinny. So with me being kind of skinny, the shirt is really baggy on me. It kind of gives me like, again, like this little bit of a high fashion editorial vibe because if you watch models uh, today, you know, they wear, sometimes, sometimes they wear really baggy clothing on their skinny body and they look the best as they look, I guess. So for me, you know, it kind of gives me a little bit of that look because, you know, I'm not as big as I used to. I don't know where I rate this fit. I probably rate this fit probably a good, like, you know, 7 out of 10. You know, I, where I rate this is I went to dinner with some friends. I did wear it on a shoe once. So, I mean, this this whole place, I probably wear this fit. This, is, you know, this isn't necessarily like your high, high fashion shoe type fit or is it like you're going out to a expensive restaurant type fit, but it definitely is a casual, casual fit you can wear out with some friends, doing some cool things with. And like I said, you know, if you haven't yet, grab you a polo, change the look. People will start looking at you differently. Whoa! What's up guys? So the next fit we got right here is this like bandana style shirt. Um, this is actually the worst shirt, you know. Living with a, the best part about living with someone who's your best friend and your brother is that he shares his goals with you, make you look like you have your baller sometimes, bro. And like going to photo shoots made like my life ten times easier because now I'm always to go out and buy clothes. I can see what he has, he got mixed and match it kind of put together so I have different type of looks. And what I love about this look, man, is just what's not the like with this shirt? It's just it's dope. It's just like, all the bandana stuff on it. All the good looks, all the fun. It's just really like a really fun, playful shirt. Definitely a cool look when you're going out with some friends, going on a date. Um, and I don't even know, like there's just so many different looks you can wear with this. You know, again, probably not a high fashion editorial shoot, but definitely be really great for some professional type shoot. What I got here is blue white wash jeans, guys. Into the white shoes, like I told you guys, wear a lot of white shoes a lot. So, you know, it really just works. You know, the really basic skinny jeans. They form me well on the, on the legs, on the calves, thighs, but whatever. And they look really well on me, so it's just really great look, honestly, for anything you're trying to do. So one of the things you guys want to know about the industry and within modeling is that most of the models make up commercial model. It's very rare to become a high fashion model. It takes a lot of work and a lot of effort, and you know, but it can be done. It can be done. It's just it's very tough to get into high fashion modeling. So looks like this that give you variety can really help you get your career started as a model. I don't think a lot of people understand that. They see Bella Hadid, Gigi Hadid, or Alton Mason, but whoever else they want to look at and they go, oh, that's me, me. And it should be, that should be your goal. That's my goal, obviously. But a lot of the work you get is going to be commercial just because you want to get the Nike look. You want to get the Adidas look. That's where a lot of the highest paid models actually get their money from is through the commercial stuff. Obviously getting to Gucci, Louis Vuitton, et cetera, et cetera, really help build your brand. But if you can give them a variety of looks, like if you can do the editorial stuff that's high fashion and runway, and then come back in with a look like this, you guys can really see how your variety and how that will give you guys, uh, kind, of, kind of pull together your look, your portfolio, and show them that you can give a lot of different looks, a lot of different energy, because not everything you're gonna do is high fashion, and I'm sure not everything you want to do is high fashion. Guys, really, really take this advice to heed is that, you know, get some photos of you in some everyday nice clothing, with everyday clothing, just to kind of build your look, build your brand, give somebody, someone, someone a different feel and vibe on how you are. And then, you know, of course, you know, going into high fashion, you gotta do some of that tutorial stuff too. So, so a good mix, I think is key in order to get to where you wanna go. Oh wait, hold up. Before we get to the last outfit, Jordan, cue the classical music, man. Ta -da. Cue the classic. Shut up, shut up. Cue the classical music. This outfit deserves classical music. I feel like it's my best outfit. I rate it like a 9.5 out of 10. If you guys rate it lower, well then argue with your mama. Ooh, your boy. Your boy feeling good in this fit, man. This is definitely 10 out of 10, my favorite fit. I ran it at 9.5, but as you guys can see the vibes, man, come on, y'all know, I know y'all checking for this fit. We got here is, we got the plaid pants. This is like probably everyone's favorite pants they've seen to me. 
Um, normally I wouldn't wear socks with these, so these are black socks, but I still got the white shoes as you guys can see. And on top of it, the yellow pulls all together. As you guys know, yellow really pulls together melanin skin. So I think with me, wearing yellow is like probably my, that one of my best colors because it gives me that, you know, that mesh of the dark and light colors together. It's a really, really awesome, beautiful. All right, guys. So today's video was really awesome, really fun. I got to try a lot of my clothes that, you know, I've been wearing lately. And hopefully it gave you guys some dope inspiration. You know, if you guys really want to become models, if you guys really want to just take better Instagram photos. I know a lot of you guys have that just really want to blow up on Instagram a little bit or show off, show out a little bit, you know. Maybe this kind of inspire you and give kind of the basis of what maybe you can look for. For my dudes, for my girls, I'm sorry. But still, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me just, you know, wear different fits for you guys and do a little fashion show type thing for you guys. So, um, definitely plan on doing this video in the future, probably within the next one or two months. You know, I don't want to do it too soon, obviously, because I want to just see how I grow. But I'm definitely going to do this video again, guys, and I'm very, very excited to just grow within the modeling and fashion industry. If you guys leave, please, please, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, turn your notifications down. I'm trying to post two videos a week. I'm trying to give you guys those bangers, that content. You know, I'm trying to bring you guys to my life. You know, I'm just blessed to be able to be in the position. So, thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you. It's your boy Jordan Bryce, as always, more life.